Adobe Firefly is now available for mobile. That means that you can create your favorite AI artworks on your mobile phone. Or should we say generate them because you're not really creating them. You can use text to image, you can use text to video, and you can also use image to video. Besides that, you also have generative fill and generative expand inside the mobile app. There's a couple more things that's pretty cool about Firefly right now, and I'm gonna show you exactly what those features are. Now let's go into the mobile app of Firefly. When we scroll down, we can see we have text to image where we can create images from text prompts. Then we have text to video where we can create videos from text prompts. Then we have image to video where we can basically give Adobe Firefly an image and it's gonna create a video. We have generative fill here and we have generative expand where we can expand our image. Now let's have a look at image. When we create an image, we just click on generate and then we can write a prompt. Let's say, let's just write something simple, a lion in the jungle. And the new thing that I like about this is when we go to general, we now have non-Adobe models. So we can use Google's Imagine 4, Imagine 3 and GPT image. So those are different AI models that you can use to create these images. Now imagine four from Google, this one is pretty good. I'm not a fan of Adobe's Firefly image model, so I would definitely use Imagine 4 for this one. Then we have the content type. We can select a photo or artwork. You can also set the visual intensity. If you have a reference image, you can upload that in composition. Then we have style where you can basically select a style that you want for your image. So basically you're getting all the features from Firefly inside this mobile app. And I really like this because it's pretty easy to use. You can use this anywhere on the go. When we go to video, we can basically just generate a video. As you can see here, I don't have a premium account, so I can only create two complementary generations. So I could try it out now to create a video. And here we also have the settings. We can go to 1080p. So if you want a 4K video, you definitely need an upscaler to upscale that 1080p to 4K. But that's what we're used to now with all these AI videos. We can select the camera motion, etc. I think it's pretty cool that they have this mobile app now because we can quickly do everything on our phone now. Now, another great thing about the mobile app is that if you create something inside this app, it's gonna automatically sync with your Adobe account. That means that when you get to a computer, you can continue working on that artwork or whatever you create. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. Go ahead and download the app if you want to and get you on the next one.